Welcome back to BYU Football Media Day. They they probably thought I was crazy talking to myself. They didn't realize that I have, a, have an earpiece in that I'm getting messages from uh, from a producer. They gave me this look like, why is he talking to himself? I was actually listening to somebody. Uh, as, and I, I mentioned that, uh, that we're going to continue with the wide receivers, Braden Cosper and Cody Epps joining me now. Uh, I, I, did I freak you out? You thought that the host was talking to himself? Cody, I, I got the, I saw the look on your face. <laughs> yeah, you were was, concerned, weren't you? I was a little bit weirded out. <laughs> you just thought, I thought I was just having a conversation with myself. Yeah, I guess I should probably let people know that, yes, I, I, I do have somebody in my ear telling me when we're going on. So, uh, how's Media Day treating you so far? Solid. It's fun. You guys done a lot of interviews or a lot of the ones, a lot of the guys that I've talked to, this has kind of been their first ones. Have you done more or is this your, your first set of interviews today? I mean, I did, I think, like two other ones. Yeah. Than this, but, yeah, it's been pretty fun. It's just been a lot of laughing. That's my yeah. favorite part, just laughing. Do you guys enjoy doing this stuff? Or I, you can I, be honest. See, I like doing it with somebody else. Okay. I don't like being by myself. Okay. But when I'm with somebody else, then it's cool. All right, so let's get to something. Uh, we were talking about this before we went live. And I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I would have, like, noticed it on my own or made the connection. But Coach Satake Fessy said, he's like, do you watch Stranger Things? So I'm like, well, of course. He's like, Steve, you, you get the, the comparison to Steve from Stranger Things all the time, you said, right? Yeah, I get it a lot. It's different with the hair now because it's bleached and, and shorter, but the longer hair, I can't even lie, I, I do kind of look like the guy. But yeah, once Stranger Things gets popping again and yeah. everybody starts watching it, Everybody's got to ask, like, do you know who you look like? I'm like, nah, who? I already know. What's yeah, you coming. know where they're going. Yeah. Have you ever said I'm actually that guy? You could add, you, now that would be see, messing with some people. See, Find last, out what the actor's name is and then, like, sign an autograph yeah. that way. See, last year, actually, I was doing the high school camps, working uh -huh. the high school camps, and uh, some dude thought I was a guy from Outer Banks. And so I just rolled with it, and he John brought B. his yeah John B. <laughs> <laughs> he brought his little brother over, and I signed like some for him. I felt kind of bad after, but it's what you know. He's telling everybody, look, look at this yeah, autograph I yeah. got. Unless he's watching now and then realizes that that he's been bamboozled. He's been, he's been, yeah. <laughs> good word. Good. good. Do, you, do you do you anybody telling you you look like anybody? I get so many different comparisons. Like who? Who are some of the I, comparisons? I kind of don't want to say them because the ones I will say kind of I like to hear. Okay, well, that's fine. Look. I get every once in a while told I look like Matt Damon. If you don't think I'm telling everybody that one all the time, you got to be kidding yourself. Um, okay, I got, I got a comparison the other day that I look like Stefan Diggs a little bit. I was, I was kind of happy because he's a little much. Yeah, because he's hard. I can see. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. All right. Any, anybody else? Uh, or is that the only one that that you want? That's the one that okay, I, right. I was like, all right, that's all right. Okay. All right. Now, uh, you were not over here when we wrapped up the previous interview. So um, Keanu wanted me to, to ask you a question. Okay. And, and he, I said afterwards, I'm going to find out if he's telling me the truth. Okay. What is your pregame ritual? What do you do prior to? Why would to? he do this, bro? <laughs> Why would he do this? Oh, then it's really good. <laughs> well, so what is the pregame ritual? Don't look at me different, okay? No, that's all good, bro. Okay, so it's, no, it's, bro, it's, based off of his reaction, he's not going to be trying to lie here. He's going to be telling me the truth. Promise? No, I won't. I won't. I won't. Promise? Okay. Oh, maybe. Okay. This started. It started when I was a kid. Okay. It didn't just start right now. Okay. It started when I was a kid. I do not brush my teeth on game day. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, okay. I did not. I did not expect that it was to not do something. Yeah. I figured it was a, I do something. No, yeah. I don't brush my teeth on game day. I've done it. My hey. parents just, if they listen to this, they'll probably just find this out. Because as a kid, they'll always be like, brush your teeth. I'm like, I did. <laughs> oh, look, I'm going to be honest with you. Billy, I'm no dentist. I'm no orthodontist. It clearly has not hurt your teeth. You, <laughs> no, you, you no. have nice teeth. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank so, you. Wh so what's, what's the genesis behind that? Like, did you just not forget to brush your teeth one day and you had a really good game and so it's like, I don't, I'm not going to brush my teeth? I, honestly, I can't remember, like, what sparked it. I can't remember, like, why it started or how. I just remember in high school, I was like, I don't brush my teeth on game day. And then they just, college, I don't, you know, like yeah. it just formulated through, I don't know. Okay. It's just, what I, it's just how I handle it. I don't know. Look, you handle that. <laughs> I don't even know how to word it. Like. You, you, the honesty, I love it. I yeah. love it. Anything for you? Any pregame rituals? No. 
And I'm definitely not nasty like that. So. <laughs> See? Oh, he's already judging. See? He's judging. He promised me, too. Oh, he's ju Did you uh, not know that, by the way? I didn't know that, no. Oh. <laughs> nobody, I, I didn't tell anybody. Oh, I did not realize yeah, that that was no. like, nobody knew yeah, that. Yeah, nobody knew hey, well, that. Well, you but can I'm... blame Keanu for that, because yeah. he's the one that had me ask you. I didn't, seriously, I did not know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, let's let's talk about uh, about the wide receivers. And and we had this conversation with Chase and Keanu. This obviously is a another season where the wide receiver position is talented to say the very very least. How would you guys categorize that position heading into this year, both of you guys? Um, what do you think makes it special? I think what I see is we have a lot of different kind of play styles like we got dudes who who got some jelly we got dudes who are really athletic we got dudes with some speed like so I think it's a good mixture of a lot of different things that we bring to the table which makes it difficult for the opposition what about you Cody I think I think that's a great point like you got a lot of different um, per, I say personalities to people's games but another thing too is I think a lot of the guys in our room have been the top dog somewhere, mm -hmm. which only rises the level of performance for us together because we've all been that guy somewhere. So now when we're together, it's like, okay, we're all trying to figure out who's gonna be the guy, but at the same time, pick each other up, push each other to reach new heights and reach new levels with our own games as well. So I think that's probably, that's probably something that I really like. It's just that everybody's a top dog and we're all trying to be a top dog again and just keep going with that, so. It's an unfortunate part of sports, uh, speaking of injuries. You both have had seasons cut short because of injury, and your career's kind of slowed coming here to BYU. From a health standpoint, where are you guys at heading into this year? Um, super healthy. <laughs> oh, not just healthy, super, super healthy. healthy. I love it. Yeah, I feel good. Same. I feel, I feel so good right now, so good health-wise. Health yeah. What does that do for you guys mentally heading into the year? Uh, I think that's... Honestly, like, the biggest thing, like, as I've come to realize with sports, like, if you're not mentally right, it doesn't matter how uh, physically gifted you are or right. anything else. Like, at this level, it's, it's a lot to do with mental. So being mentally ready for the whole season and the grind and the playbook and new guys coming in and everything is, is huge. I, you know, just the fact that you are coming in healthy, that probably does take a, a you know, big weight off of your shoulders yes. coming into this season. Yes, yes. So for you guys then, you guys are both, you know, every, the competition for reps is there, it's strong, and one of the reasons that there is a competition is because of the talent that's here. How are you guys handling that competition? I would say, just like I said, like, we're all, every... Of course, we're a, we're a tight knit group, and all, we all have one common focus, and that's to win, and bring a lot of attention to this, a lot of good attention to ourselves, to our families, to this program as a winning program, winning people, mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. But just on a personal level too, we all want to be great, so it only just intensifies the level of competition for ourselves. And also, we're all good dudes, and our room is just complete good dudes. So we're not competing and pushing each other down or. Separ there's no separation, you know, we're pushing each other forward, we're keeping each other going, making sure we all know what's going on on the same page. So it only just makes our team better holistically after that, too. Braden, you've been, you've been here the longest uh, yeah. between the two of you. What does this season mean to you? Um, I mean, for me personally, it's, it's obviously an awesome schedule. Um, a lot of the people that I came in with that I was really good friends with are gone now. Um, there's a few guys that are still here from when I came in, like Gunner. Um, but for me, it's like, it's huge because I've never really gotten to, you know, really have a full healthy season yet. Right. So this is like the pinnacle for me. Like, I can't wait. Just super excited for it. Well, and the track record is there. You've seen, regardless of the season, regardless of, of which players were there and maybe who left before, guys have stepped up and have proven that this offense will generate opportunities. That's got to feel great for you guys going into this year. Yeah. So what type of opportunities do you think are there for this offense in general? Because I was asking, I was asking Chase and Keanu like a word to describe it, and they, they used the word lethal, which I thought was great. One word that I thought about was potent. 
this offense is potent and it has a track record of being such. What, what, what excites you about what's possible with this offense this year? Um, just getting after it, just playing football and being efficient, dogging people, and just having fun while we're doing it. That's the, that's the, I think the exciting part is that we're just all wanting to play football at a very high level and be super competitive about that. And just be willing to take on, you know, the adversities that come along with it, but still be ready to go and take everything on head on. So I think that's the exciting part, that nobody's scared. No, every, we're all locked in. We're all ready to go, so. What about you, Braden? What Something that I like that he just said is, having fun while you're while you're playing and I think the past couple of years especially have been um, obviously I wasn't involved last year but you can feel the energy when everyone's having fun and it's a lot different than than you want when you're just kind of grinding it out um, so I think when you're out there having fun everything starts to open up and you care about other guys getting opportunities and that's what football is all about. Well, and I've got to imagine, too, as a receiver, it also helps when you have quarterbacks like Zach Wilson and now Jaron Hall in the program. What's, uh, how good is Jaron going to be this year? I think for sure Jaron is uh, he's going to take that next step to just like elite level. Like He was obviously really good last year. Maybe you could argue he's elite last year. But I think this year he's just got it's like almost a different kind of confidence like coming into this year and you can feel it when we're out throwing and practicing and all that so Cody what what makes Jaron so good his maturation how he approaches life how he approaches the game how he approaches us as teammates I think that's what that's the biggest thing when I see him I see somebody I, I want to you know emulate a lot of the things that he does just through his day to day, just how he converses with people and connects with people as players, as his receivers, as his linemen, the defense, all those type of things. I think that's what stands out to me most about him. It's just his makeup and his DNA and who he truly is. So to answer your question, that would be that would be it. You know, one of the things that, and, and I know Jaron pretty well and you know one of the things about him is regardless of the situation, he stays stays calm and cool. I've got to imagine Having that type of player as your quarterback, yeah. regardless of the situation, whether it's a high-intensity moment, you know, or stressful moment, I've got to imagine having your quarterback be sort of an even-keel guy, that probably helps you guys, am I right? Yes, 100%. In, in what yeah. ways is that a benefit to the overall offense? Well, I mean, I think that's your leader, so yeah. that's the leader of the offense, and if it's a high-stress situation, high-pressure, and he comes out and he's just like, you know, being Jaron, like, come on, y'all, like, we got this, we've been here before, blah, blah, blah. Then it's like, all right, we're cool. Like, he's cool, now everybody else is cool. He kind of sets the tone. Has he ever told jokes? I, I hear stories about, like, Joe Montana would tell jokes. <laughs> like, that, is, is, is anything like that ever happened? Yeah. He's actually, he's actually like, super funny. He's, he's really, really funny. Because he's almost like... He, he has, like, an old spirit to him, <laughs> so the music he listens to is, like, old school music. Okay. And, and just... Some of his phrases are okay. Like then let me just tales. let me let me. You, you're 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 pretty young. What do you consider old school? What are we what are we talking about here? Like, I, I imagine Jaron will listen to like Marvin Gaye or something. Okay, like all right. No, I would consider that old school too. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. We're on the same page. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Very so, nice. And all that's right. why it's funny sometimes too. Okay. It's cultured. Yes. Very cultured. Yes. It's very yes. mature and cultured. Yeah, yes. Very yes. nice. All right. Let's wrap things up with this. Um, this season is obviously the last as an independent program before going to the Big 12. Everybody's excited about joining the Big 12 Conference in 2023, but there's work to be done. For you guys, what does it mean to be a part of this team that will end this independent era? Braden, let's start with you. Um, I think I think he almost guaranteed to go down in the history books. I mean, we've been independent, I don't know, a long time. Since 2011. Yeah. So. I think it's almost like a historical thing, like let's end it off right and let's remember this last season as uh, one of the great seasons we've ever had and end it off right. Cody, what about you? Same. Just literally, I, my, one of my favorite movies is the movie Troy and uh, Brad Pitt stars in it as Achilles and he always talks about leaving a mark and people remembering his name, but this team will always be remembered after this season, of course, for the independent schedule and being an independent team and all that type of stuff. So this will be in the books as something prominent and something that we really care about and want to leave a major emphasis and stamp on. So it's exciting. 
Cody, Braden, really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for stopping by and uh, taking a few minutes. And thank you for opening up. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going to tell you. Look, if my teeth. Not looking at no, like Here's the that, thing. Bro. If my teeth could look that good and, and it just meant that I didn't brush them one day, I'd okay. do it because your Wait, teeth listen, look amazing. Listen, though, for all the people listening, on game day, I chew gum, <laughs> I do all those things for others. I look out for others. Look, you're thinking of others. I'm thinking of others. It's just, I, I, I just don't brush my teeth on game day. I'm sorry. So, you okay, now this is for, for clarification. After the game, like at night, do you brush them or not till the next day? Or is it that whole day? Well, I mean, most of the time we're getting a dub, so like I'm not thinking about brushing my teeth. I just want to celebrate okay. with the Bro. boys. <laughs> well, no, put it like this. Put it like this. Put it like this. If I'm not Nine times out of ten, I'm hanging out with Braden after the game, just yes. chilling around. Yes, I'll brush my teeth. Okay. But if I'm just chilling at the house, probably just, you know, call it a night. You're not allowed to look at him any different. <laughs> Don't. No, you, you, guys, you guys came in tight, you're going to leave tight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. <laughs> okay. I, I All don't right. forget about it. <laughs> guys, you guys were amazing. Great, great job. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. Right, we'll be back with more interviews coming up right after this.